welcome today we are looking at vet okay uh this question comes from the houting uh september 2019 uh question 5.4 mantra traders is a vet registered business all items are subject to vet at 15 percent the information relates to vet uh the vet period ended 30 june 2019 the requirement for 2.1 calculate the amount of vet either receivable from or payable to sars on the 30th of june uh, 2019 indicate whether this amount is receivable or payable the easiest the easiest way to make this calculation is to open up a vet controller account let me show you how it is done okay the vet controller account okay you are supposed to record output vet and input vet your input vet you record it on the debit side so on the debit side there is input vet and then on the credit side there is output vet okay what in okay in summary anyway i'm just going to show you okay fine what it means to say output vet and input vet input vet is vet on payments so here yeah, okay we are looking at the payments output vet we are looking at the sales the money that has been received okay fine so in other words i can say receipts okay all right so now as we look at the transaction that are given there we simply have to identify whether money is being paid or money is being received from the transaction that is given so that we'll know on which side we are supposed to record okay uh from the information the first information that they've given us is balance owing to by sars on the 1st of june 2019 33,600. okay so it is sars that is owing the business okay so when sars is owing the business of course that means there is a debit balance in our tax account okay so we are going to indicate the balance bd on the debit side balance brought down is thirty three thousand and six hundred. okay let's move on to transaction number b okay purchase of trading stock are uh, a vet exclusive one million six hundred twenty five thousand if it's a, a vet exclusive it purchase of trading stock vet exclusive one million uh six hundred and twenty five it means there is no vet that was calculated that was included in this amount so if you are making a calculation using an amount that is vet exclusive we use 15 percent 15 percent multiplied by 1 million uh 625,000, which is going to give us something like oh let me go to my calculator we'll get 243,000, 243,750. okay and then this is purchases purchases are payments purchases are payments okay so it means we are going to indicate on the debit side it's an input vet purchases okay the amount is 243,750 okay let's move on to transaction number b number c cash and credit sales sales already money is being received and the vet is also received so like what i said it becomes output vet and it's supposed to be recorded on the credit side so i'll even indicate on this side sales okay the calculation the amount is vet inclusive here the amount was vet exclusive that's why i use 15 percent but if the amount is vet inclusive you use 15 over 115 multiplied by the amount that is given the two million four hundred and fifteen thousand okay which will give us uh, something like three hundred and fifteen thousand okay so our output vet here is three hundred and fifteen thousand okay what else do we have we have got vet on discount received okay received so it means we are recording it on the output vet side or on the credit side what else do we have vet on bad debts written off here the business is losing okay so it is part of what the payments okay so we indicate uh the bad debts this side the bad debts and then the amount is 900 okay and then that is all what is only left now is for us to balance this account okay when we look at the amount that are given here we can see that the credit side is bigger the credit side is much bigger okay here is discount okay received okay the credit side is bigger when we add 1200 plus 315 we're going to get 316,200 316,200 okay our balance cd is going to come here we subtract everything that is on the debit side we are going to remain with 37,000 uh 30 uh, we are going to remain something like 37,000 
950. 37,950, okay, which is also going to be our balance BD this side, 37,950. A balance BD on the credit side, it means that 37,950, 37,950 is the amount payable to SAS. The amount payable to SAS. A credit balance is amount payable to SAS. A debit balance, it is mean it would mean that it is an amount that is receivable to SAS. Okay, so the other way that you could have done this calculation, the one that might they might require according to the space that you are given in your answer book, you, you just have to identify your input vet and your output vet. Your input vet is a minus, your output your output vet it is a plus. Okay, since you are starting with an opening balance on the debit side so it means it is a minus 33600 okay 33600 and followed by okay the amount on the purchases okay we are also going to say minus 243750 okay and then followed by the amount on the sales on transaction number c we are going to say plus 315000 okay Plus 315,000. What else took place after this? It is the 1,200, which we are also going to say plus 1,200. And then we also say minus the 900. Okay. This calculation is also supposed to give you uh, 37,950. Okay. That is all for you on the VET calculation. So remember, it's very important for you to identify the output VET and the input VET. The moment you understand what items make up output VET, what makes up input VET, it will never be a problem for you to get the amount that is payable or the amount that is receivable to SAS. Thank you.